to be a radiator. Right, come on. That is number 850. On here it says it wraps. Spray up with his heated body, cooking them in his coils. Once they are well done, it will voraciously nibble them down to the last morsel. Wow. I guess you can go near the This one is I'm not sure how you pronounce it, sorry. <laughs> it is 70 HP. And here it says, oh, that's pretty shaky. The minerals that made up its type became scarce. Cleefki began began appearing in human settlements. That's cute. I'm assuming it's a steel. I'm not too sure what that is, but I'm going to say, oops, <laughs> I'm going to say steel. trees in the back looks like he's living his best life so this dude is a grass type pokemon let's have a look cactus as we said it's got peck i really don't like the peck <laughs> it's an attack and it says one gg of this pokemon scatters its seeds they're jam packed with nutrients making them a precious food source out in Oricorio? Oricorio? <laughs> My pronunciation is so shocking. But look how cute he is. Look at his little karate legs go. Doing some damage. Apparently, some dancing Pokemon. It's a fire. And on here it says this Oricorio has drunk red nectar. Its trainer gives the wrong order. This passionate Pokemon becomes a
have electrode, it's electrode, 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 that then transforms or evolves, should I say, into Voltorb. Voltorb. It's an electric, as you can tell, it looks like he is just exploding everywhere. And it says it stores an overflowing amount of electric energy inside his body, even a short, small amount will make it explode. Don't want to mess with that one. That's for sure. We have this energy fusion strike. I'm completely honest, I don't play Pokemon cards. I literally just collect them because I think they're pretty. So I'm going to pop the energies here. And this is going to categorized in like its category <laughs> like you can see I've got fire steel maybe I think it's steel um grass and then I've got electric hmm, this is a trainer this is a bug catcher look at it go that is a massive net kind of reminds me of animal crossing Slipede, but now it's gone into a center scorch. Center scorch, steady fire breathing, and heat blast. Oh, let's have a look at this dude. Look at it go. It's a one that fireball, doesn't it? It's crazy. So I just have. While his burning body is already dangerous on its own, this excessively hostile Pokemon always has large and very sharp fangs. I don't think you want to mess with that boy. Look at that. We've got an energy, which I'm just going to place there. People that actually play Pokemon cards is probably crying because I have no idea. Oh, we've got me out. This is a Galarian. And it's shiny. Ooh. I'm gonna say this is normal. This me up is normal, so it means that one is a normal Pokemon too. It's got growl and a slash. Slash slash slash. Look at him. Look like it's living his best life. Just running on some pebbles near a beautiful waterfall with lovely greenery. That's sweet. It says Scratch Pack Pet Pokemon. And these staring at Pokemon have coins on their foreheads. Darker coins are harder, and harder coins garner more respect among me out. It's a cute little card. This is indeedy. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a psychic Pokemon. It's meant to be an emotion Pokemon according to this. Just cleaning up its owner's house, maybe? Like Pokemon Trainer's house. It's got work, so it looks like it's just been caught clean and it's just accidentally put them. So they are diligently, they diligently serve people in Pokemon so they gather feelings of gratitude. The females are particularly good at babysitting. I think I'll be a bit of a pants female if I was an NDD. Jake. That's a cute one. I really like it. It almost looks like it's like watercolour for the Darumaka? Darumaka? <laughs> Darumaka? 
I'm sorry, my pronunciations are horrendous. I have the games on, I used to have the old Game Boy and then the 3DS and now the Switch. And because I play the games, I actually don't know how to pronounce them. I've watched the uh, like original 150 Pokemon uh, um, series, but that's about it. So I don't really know how to pronounce them. Just chilling in his snow. It's a Zen charm Pokemon, apparently. And here it says, The colder they get, the more energetic they are. They freeze, they freeze their breath to make snowballs, using them as ammo for playful snowball fights. <laughs> I don't think I want to play that with this dude. been drawn it's like a really cool sketch i love this got a little his little thing in there so this is panjam it's a playful pokemon it's also a fighting one and then it says wanting to make sure it's taken seriously panjam's always giving others a glare but if it's not focusing it ends up smiling <laughs> that's quite cute It's a sheep Pokemon. It's really cute. And it's really sweet. So here it says, if its fleece grows too long, Wooloo won't be able to move. <laughs> Cloth made with the wool of this Pokemon is surprisingly strong. Hmm. We get a li little male. were normal. Does it have the same? Doesn't have the same, does it? What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm gonna pop this dude. Actually I'm gonna swap the energy and pop her there. I'm gonna put the bug catcher and then the energy down there. There is method I'm going to say Klefki actually. Klefki, 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 Klefki. Then we have mm, a wiggly top. It's been like crocheted. That is adorable. So it evolves from a Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. And it says when it gets angry, I've got to imagine it being angry. Well, when it gets angry, it inhales with all its might and its body, body gradually inflates. Sometimes they can grow 20 times larger. That is cute. I don't know what this one's going to be. No. <laughs> that was a disappointing. Six. Oh wow. <laughs> this is a semi ball. It is a water one. I can tell it's got water pulses. Wow, look at that. So it's evolved from her pan paw. <laughs> but it looks so happy. Look at its tail. I think it's cute. Just gonna quickly zoom in the tail. Sorry, I'm not feeling very well at the moment, but I really wanted to make an ASMR video because it relaxes me as well. So hence why there's a liquid there to help with my foot. One says it prefers places with clean water. And when it's tough run to low, tough to run to low, replenishes it by siphoning up water with its tail. Mm. I love a little thing. Look at its ears and the hair. It just looks so happy. Looks like it could be like a village up from Animal Crossing, if I'm honest.
şey hoş bakana bakarız. Şimdi yazgın bir parfüm. It is Phantom. I love this. Shiny. It's adorable. Look at his little arms. It's cute. So sweet. And here it says, with a voice like a human child, it cries out to lure adults deep into the forest, getting them lost among the trees. Oh, I thought this one was adorable until I read that. It's good at finding berries that covers them from all over. It's kind enough to share with them from with friends. Sweet, I love this picture. Love that. It's like a painting with that watercolor again. It's cute. It's a cute little grass one. says he uses both hands to climb cliffs. <laughs> People who seriously in action have been known to take up Baldwin, 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 Baldwin. I don't know. It's a rock Pokemon game. So yeah, rock Pokemon. I hope this video is okay. As I said, I'm not feeling 100%. I have the dreaded C. Ooh, it's a dancer. Go and dance. I'm not loving that. It's not Pokemon, so I'm not interested. <laughs> oh, it's a little dance bars. That's cute. So it says, oh, and it sees a person that takes a hole of its tail to make it escape. If you happen to find one, consider yourself lucky. It's annoying that these don't evolve into anything else. Look at him. This one's got like a little hornet, but like little wings. So sleek. It's almost like bug type, isn't it? It's giving me bug vibes. Oh, this is an electric and it evolves from a time. It's an electric eel and it says on here these Pokemon have a big appetite, relatable. When they spot their prey, they attack it and paralyze it with electricity. Wow, that's so nice. That's cute. I love the light. Oh, it's a melton. They are 
like absolute pain to evolve. I think on Pokemon Go you need like 400 candies to evolve this. It's a bit insane. So it's a hex and not Pokemon. It says on here, it melts particles of iron and other metals found in the subsoil, so it can absorb them into its body of molten steel. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to say these are steel. Actually, I've changed my mind. This is steel. And that's normal. It's only taken me like 20 minutes to figure out what the symbols mean. Another geodude. Mm, this is my boy. It's crazy to think that these are fairy Pokemon. Honest. It's really cute. I love the floral background as well. So it says on here, in contrast to its appearance, it's quite timid. When playing with other puppy Pokemon, it sometimes gets bullied. Aww. A little thing. Gouda? Aragouda? I feel like this is the name derives from an actual fish. Aragouda? Make go. It is obviously a water type. And it says on here. Frizzy in its fill, its movements become extremely sluggish. That's when Cramorant swallows up. Oh. Wow, well, I wasn't expecting that. I guess you can go there. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a little bee. Very cute, little bee, bee, bees. So this is a soft tissue of Pokemon. And it says on here, its horns are powerful sensors. As soon as Goomy picks up any sign of enemies, they're going to hide in. And that's how they've survived. I like how that appeared to look so It's cute. It's a cute one. I'm gonna pop that one there. Hmm, we've got another Panzer. Pretty sure we have another one, right? Actually, I think it's the green one we have. That's so cute. That's a high temp Pokemon, are they? Lemons. <laughs> I don't know if it's playing in a lemon tree. It says the Pokemon lives in caves and volcanoes. The fire within the tufts of its hair can reach 600 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm surprised it doesn't have a headache, the poor thing. Little Crowley, how adorable! It's like a little doggy dog, you know. It's a puppy Pokemon. It's a fire one. It says extremely loyal. Fearlessly bark at any opponent to protect its own trainer from harm. That's really sweet. That's lovely. Put that there. Oh, curse these stubby little arms of mine. Ah, oh, it's another lady. Another Terramaka. Got quite a lot going on right now, don't I? Mm, another Paranchan. Oops. That's sweet. This one is. Ooh, cross with you. I'm going to pop that with the electric. Electric, I mean energy. Oh, speaking of energy, <laughs> we can pop that there. Mm, cross switcher. Let's see, I feel 
like I should do that. That's pretty okay. Whoa, I love, 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 love. Follow us around my pants here. These are sinners here. It's like crayon. I love that. It's adorable. So it says, when it gets excited, embers rise from its head to tail and gets hot for some reason. Love sweets. <laughs> That's adorable. It's a cute little fire one. Gonna pop it with the rest of the fire. Oh, it's flinks. Flinks, 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 flinks. So this is a formation Pokemon. It's a fighting one. And uh, the six of them work together as one Pokemon. Teamwork is also the battle strategy. So they constantly change their formation as they fight. Mm, I remember seeing that on Pokemon Sword for the first time. I was like, what is that? What is that? So I've got quite a selection of effects. Should go crazy. Should get one from the middle. Snap, I would be winning. Snap. Yes, guys. I love this. Though. Look at this little heat. Look at this little tits. 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 Oh, little Anthony. 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 It's a victory Pokemon. It's a fire one. It says when it shares its infinite energy, it creates. Mine's have like a fairy Pokemon as well, if I'm honest. I really want to straighten these out, but god damn it. Oh, Shauna. Oh, sweet. She looks so excited or scared, I can't tell. Pop you over there, my love. Mm, this is a Sligoon. Has evolved from a gloomy. So what does Sigloo say? Sigloo, Sigloo, Sigloo. I love, 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 love its print. So pretty. So it says a lump on its back. So this is that little shell. Looks like a snail. Um, contains its tiny prey. I it think it's only a food and escaping its enemies. shot that is. Can you see that in size? So it says crossing icy seas is no issue with this cold resistant Pokemon. Its smooth skin is a little cool to the touch. It's like based on the Loch Ness monster. Hmm, got a little crow gunk. I love foggies. I love them. It says once diluted, its poison becomes medicinal. This Pokemon came into popularity after a pharmaceutical company chose it as its mascot. I don't think we've got one with that symbol. I'm assuming because it's a poisonous one, and we don't have any poisonous ones here, so. I'm gonna be crazy. I'm gonna put my poison ones in there. Got a lovely little monkey. <laughs> I love its drawing. It's a very nice illustration. It's so pretty. <laughs> so it says it's a pink monkey Pokemon. And if one gets angry or the others around it will get angry, so silence is a rare visitor in the tree. <laughs> Treat <for> monkey <laughs> again. It's a fire monster. So pop that there. Oh, my little grubby monkey. 
use that crochet. So this little grubbin uh, uses its big jaws to dig nests into the forest floor and it loves to feed on sweet tree sap. It's an adorable, adorable little thing. I'm just going to move that there because I can see my little T-Rex arms knocking that. <gasps> Got a little bunny. There's a little bunny. Okay, get it to this little fighting me. It's a rabbit Pokemon double kick. And it says the reason it keeps bunny rolled up is so it can launch a swift counter attack if it's attacked by an enemy. Learning so much. Learning so much. Learning so many. There's hmm. That looks so grumpy. <laughs> it's so grumpy. Grumpy, 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 grumpy. It says, known for the violence, these Pokemon have the most fights with schools of red striped basculin. Oh, I wouldn't want to mess with that. Spongy gloves. This evolves from a clauncher and it's a chloritzer. Chloritzer, chloritzer, chloritzer. Chloritzer. It's a water Pokemon, as you can see. It's got like a massive beak going on there. And with its right arm. Oh, not the arms. What? With its right arm. It, its right arm, arm is packed with meat. When its pincer falls off, it's exported to be used as a cooking ingredient. Wow. Oh, the arms. Sorry, the way the, the way this is shown in the illustration makes it look like that's its beak and that's just a part of it. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not feeling 100%. I get really dippy when I'm ill. So I don't know. Oh, you know, me, Sydney. Sydney, Sydney. Oh, I've got four small, four small. They're gorgeous. Look at that. It evolved from a small, 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 small. It says, shows no mercy to any of those who desecrate fields and mountains. Fly around on its icy wings, causing a blizzard to chase the winters away. That's beautiful. I love those. As you guys probably know, I keep seeing them my tattoos. Do you see what's on this? No, it's a little meow. Hmm. Oh wow, it's like. Actual picture, it's like they made the sculpture, <laughs> that was really cool. It's a dynamo, it's an electric Pokemon, and it says, oh, Only one can emit only uh, one alone can emit only a trickle of electricity. So, a group of them gathers to unleash a powerful electric shock. shock, shock, shock. Well, I don't know about you, but that sounds a bit scary. I don't want to be shocked. We have a little quill fish. Quill fish. It's a little warm one. Makes us hungry. Show me so not evolve either. It says the small spikes covering his body develop from scales. They inject the toxin that causes fainting. Uh -huh. I never. Oh, it's cool. Hush me. Hush me. Hush me. That's a start I went to happen. Look at the colours. It's like psychedelic. Psychedelic, psychedelic. That's really pretty. That says it draws symbols with the fluid that oozes from the tip of its tail. Hmm. Depending on the symbol, it's Smeragol. 
Fanatics will pay big money for them. That's really cool. I love these little glittery sections I've got. Color graphics. That's really pretty. You can go with a ballerina. We have it. Oh, got a little more pico. More pico. That looks like a tomato. What is that? <laughs> it looks so angry. <laughs> yeah, little funny thing. So it says hunger hormones affect its temperament. Oh my gosh, I think I'm a morpico. Until its hunger is appeased, it gets up to all manner of evil deeds. Well, I I never. That is okay. What? Oh god, you diggers me. That's a bolt from a uh, bunnel by diggers by bunnel by. I always pronounce it as Dickers B and Bunner B, but now I think I've just done it wrong every time I've said his name. I probably have. It says the fur on his belly retains heat exceptionally well. People use to make heavy winter clothing from fur shed by this Pokemon. No, we got a little crab block. And it is evolved from a club of this. <laughs> It's a Jiu-Jitsu Pokemon. It's a fighting one, as you can tell. And it says, searching for an opponent to test its skills against. It emerges onto land. Once the battle is over, it turns to the sea. There are good fighting ones that look like this. So that is a fold from a Panjam. It's a daunting Pokemon. As it says, and it says using its leaf, Pangoro can predict the moves of its opponent. How clever it strikes with punches that can turn a dump truck into scrape scrap, sorry, trust me dear. Let me know. That is like a friendly giant there. That's what I think anyway. Is it? Oh, it doesn't say it's a fighting one. It's got that symbol. It's just the same as a uh, Morpico. So I'm going to put it over there. Oh, well, that's a disappointment. <gasps> Look at you, Hulu. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. So this is a deal. Sis. That's crazy. It's meant to be a DNA Pokemon. Look at all the it's like it's almost like tentacles, but not. And it says DNA from space virus mutated and became a Pokemon. It appears where auras are seen. There's almost like a ghost one. A cute one. So this is a dragapult evolved from a a dragloak. And then and it says I'll give you I'll let you see it properly, hopefully. And then it says apparently it's a tree pea inside sorry, a tree pea inside dragapult's horns eagerly look forward to being launched. Out at much speed. I think I need a nap after this. I'm really struggling to read. Oh, this is a Inteleon. Look at it. They're an absolute nightmare to try and battle when you don't have the correct Pokemon in a Pokemon Sword from experience. Cool one. Ah, we've got a little 
face to look cool and it pokes from a shellmet. And it says on here, discarding its shell makes it nimble to keep itself from dehydrating. It wraps its body in bands of membrane. Really, I don't think I've pulled that one. Okay. And this one, oh wow, last but definitely not least, is Landorus. It's an abundance Pokemon, it's a fight on the run. This one's got a cute tentacle going on there. It's all muscly and it normally sits in a cloud. It says, from the forces of lightning and wind, it creates energy to give nutrients to the soil and make the land abundant. Well, guys, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I really, really enjoyed going through all of these with you, if I'm honest. It was really fun to do. Or really fun to do. But anyway, if you liked this video, make sure to leave a comment. So I know you did. Give that like as well and make sure to subscribe because it helps my channel. Anyway, hopefully I feel better the next time I speak to you guys because I'm a little bit <laughs> um, snotty, basically. But anyway, speak to you soon. Bye.